Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Dani. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to place your leather tag on your handmade items, knitting or crochet projects. So the first thing you might be wondering is where do I get my leather tags and we're gonna talk about it at the end of this video. The first thing I want you to know is that my tags have two logos, one at the top and one at the bottom and that's for a good reason that I'm gonna show you um, in a second. So in here I have a hat and a neck warmer that I wanna place my tags on. So the first thing you're gonna need is, of course, your tag, a needle, a sewing needle, and thread. So this is cotton. It's not just the regular thread that you would put in a sewing machine. This one is much stronger and yeah, you can find it anywhere. I buy mine at Michael's. It's super strong and these little ball last forever and as you can see I also tried to um, find a color that is very similar to my tag we're gonna be using one strand no double and this is just for appearance and it's also because the thread is very like firm so you don't need it in double but that's totally up to you so in here as you can see we can fold in the tag I'm placing it at the bottom of my neck warmer and we're gonna begin from the um, inside of my neck warmer. I'm just gonna insert the needle through the first hole and up in here and I'm gonna leave a little tail and this is because I wanna make a knot after. And now let's go to the left and we're gonna do the same place your needle down there through the other hole in here and let's do it one more time in here my tags have four um, holes some of them have three some of them two it's totally up to you and how you want to customize your tags and in here we have a one more time and as you can see both strands are at the opposite side of the tag and we don't want that because it would be very ugly if we <laughs> place a knot in here so what I'm gonna do is to pass my needle through the two middle holes just like this so now I have both strands right next to each other and I can make a knot and it's not gonna be it's not gonna be very noticeable. But I'm gonna do a little trick in here so I can make it even less noticeable. So take that strand, pass your needle, and, and now we can make a knot and the knot is gonna be underneath the tag. So that's even better, you won't see it pretty much at all. So make sure you tie it there <laughs> very, very firm. And now you can grab your scissors and cut it. So that's how I attach my tags on my um, neck warmers or any kind of project like this. And now I'm gonna show you with this little hat. So in here it's where the two logos come in handy. And this is because when you have a, a head like this, like a folded brim, you can use the hat like this with the brim folded and you're gonna have your logo in the front normally, right? But you can also use your hat with the brim unfold and you are still gonna see the logo on the other side. So that's perfect and that's why I really like uh, having the two logos in one tag. And now we're gonna do the exact same thing. And when you have something like this where you're gonna 
use one side or the other it's when it's super important to hide that knot i mean it's not mandatory you don't have to but i think it looks better cleaner and yeah i just think that it looks better <laughs> so we're gonna do the exact same thing and in here you can see i have four holes in my tag but you can have three two it's up to you it doesn't matter it's however you customize your tags so continue doing this now we're gonna turn our hat and once again i'm gonna go in the two holes in the middle this is so i can have both strands in the same side and now take this one we pass the needle in here and, and now we can make a few knots and it's gonna be almost invisible it's gonna be behind or underneath no behind behind the tag and this is how I sew my tags onto my projects very very simple and I really really like how everything turns out I do this every single time for all my projects this is exactly how I do it and I think it looks very very cute so now I can use my hat like this or I can unfold the brim and use it like this as well for like a slouchy look I think it looks cute so now let's talk about the leather tags many of you have been asking me where do I get my tags and unfortunately I get mine in my home country in Chile I travel every single year so every time I go I buy at least a thousand of them <laughs> and I keep them in here um, and it's a local store they don't ship internationally but you can find many 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 different sellers on Etsy that sells these tags and they are great you can buy folk leather like this one that I have there are some made out of cork and they are beautiful they have different colors you can have different sizes you can customize the size of your logo the amount of holes like the possibilities are endless and you just have to be creative and work with the seller um, you can screenshot my tag if you like and send it to one of the sellers on Etsy and ask them if they can make a similar one I'm sure they will do it so yes go check out etsy and you will find just just type their um folk leather tag and you will have plenty so yeah that's all for today's video i hope it was helpful if so please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already and follow me on social media you can find me at cj design and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye